Hey y'all, it's Lady C in the place to be. Lady C's horse and all. It is late at night, y'all. So I'm being quiet. Because I came down here to get my hauls done. But it's late. <laughs> so I don't have my big light on. Um, oh, I hear a car outside, y'all. Anyway, um, yeah, it's late at night. So we're going to get this haul done real quick. This is my, I don't think it's my very last haul. I may have some other items. Um, I got to get out there this weekend and go to Dollar Tree. I'm not going to be buying a lot, y'all. I'm just going to buy like some, I don't know, some flowers, fake flowers and things like that to finish up some of my hauls. But I don't need to buy nothing else between you and me, right? We're going to whisper that. Y'all like my, I think these are deer or, or, you know, reindeer, whatever. Got them going on. So cute. Um, I've pretty much finished the decorations. Hubby has put my containers back into the garage. Um, yeah, I just need to, I actually just need to decorate my trees. I have two small Dollar Tree trees and one four foot tree. And Hubby's going to build like, um, you know, something to, to make them stand up a little bit higher. Um, so anyway, let's get into it. I know I look crazy, y'all, because the lighting is terrible. I do apologize. But let's just let's just do this, right? Okay. So as far as food, you guys know I like to start off with food, and I forgot to tell you, you guys know the rules. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm trying to make it to 3K by my birthday, which is Christmas. So hey, we're trying to do it. We've been making some strides, but you know, hey, you never know. The Lord works in mysterious ways, and I don't know. But my, it seems like my camera is shaking, y'all. So let me. Let me move y'all back a little bit. I think my table was touching it and it was driving me crazy. Okay, so the first thing um, that I got is this Funfetti Vanilla Premium Cupcake Mix with Oreo, um, Oreo cookie pieces. And this is 10.58 ounces. It is good until August 24th of 2024. And I keep saying, I keep buying this stuff, you guys, to give me motivation because I intend on making these things, but I never do. Um, oh, they have a good little recipe on the back for Funfetti Oreo Whoopie Pies. Okay, I know a lot of people like Whoopie Pies. So that's a good little recipe. Um, I don't know. My husband likes Whoopie Pies. I don't like Whoopie Pies personally, but he does like them. So maybe that'll be something I make. All you need would be two-thirds cup of water to make the cupcakes, a third cup of oil, and two egg whites. Hmm. Egg whites. That's different. Okay. So that's that. <clears throat> Um, I picked this up because we didn't have any, and I didn't remember seeing it in Dollar Tree. Um, this is the baking powder, double acting, gluten-free, net weight 8.1 ounces. I don't know how much baking powder is costing in the stores these days, so I went ahead since I was in Dollar Tree and picked it up for $1.25. I don't even know what, it doesn't say, I'm trying to see who what the name brand is. Product of China. Transnational Foods LLC in Miami. So, I don't know. Okay. I picked these up because I know everybody had been hauling these. I picked up two pair, two packs, because I gave one to my kids. Kept the other one. This is a four pack and the brush for the natural home brands, the reusable glass straws. And um, I just thought it was pretty cool. It says, keep your teeth clean. It's BPA free. It reduces and you can reuse them and they're earth friendly. Okay. So I picked these up. I thought I'd give them a try and I get them to my kids because they do like things like this. They use a lot of straws and stuff like that. I'm really not a big straw user. Um, I'll just wipe the can off when I'm using the can or whatever. Um, but I thought these were pretty cool. So I picked them up. Excuse me. Then, you guys, you know they started coming out with um, all the jams and cheeses for the holiday. And I love jams and cheeses. My grandmother used to be a big, like, cheese. She loved, like, really good cheeses. Um, she used to always get those, um, I don't know, those Hillshire Farms or 
one of those brands, you know, uh, my brothers would buy her the gift pack with the sausages and the cheeses and the crackers. She loved that kind of stuff. She would just eat it. And she would not share it with anybody. That's how my grandmother was. She might give us a little taste, you know, if we're begging. But then she was like, yeah, she said, get on now. Get on now, because it's mine. <laughs> she ain't going to give you too much. I'm sorry, you guys. I got the hiccups. Um, this is, let's see who it's, Old World. And it's strawberry vanilla jam, net weight. 1.6 ounces. This would be great for your charcuterie board. I'm just thinking strawberry vanilla. This is going to taste so good. So I picked that up. Then they had the, this is different. Now I don't remember this at all. This is the old world pear mustard. Net weight 3.5 ounces. Now I've never had pear mustard. So I'm really interested in how this is going to taste. Um... And then they had this one. This is Mrs. Miller's Bacon Spread. Net weight 1.5 ounces. I know these have. Oh, they do have expiration dates, you guys. I'm sorry. Um, This one's good till 2026. The Bacon Spread. That probably is really, really good. Can't wait to try that one. I don't know if this one... Just looking to see if all of them have expiration dates. Okay. This one is good until August 9th of 2024. That's the pear mustard spread. And the strawberry vanilla jam. So hard to read these. This is good until July 30th of 2024. So these have some good dates. Um, here's another one. This is the pineapple mustard. Net weight 3.5 ounces. And this one is good until August 17th of 2024. And then the last one I have is the horseradish mustard. Um, net weight 3.5 ounces. And this one is good until August 2nd of 2024. So I bought all those because I do intend on either having a charcuterie board or just sitting around and eating some snacks. You know, the crackers, the um, summer sausage. I cut that up. Get some really good cheese. Man, oh man. Have some olives. I love olives. Oh my God. Anyway. Um, so I think that's it for food. That's all I had because I really hadn't picked up a lot of food lately. Um, this is the, now I'm going to tell you, me and my husband went to Roses. We're in North Carolina. We do have a Roses here in Maryland, but um, it's not close to where we live at. So whenever we go to North Carolina, we do go to Roses. Now I know you guys saw these essential disinfectant wipes in Dollar Tree. Okay. I loved these. I used up my whole pack recently. Actually, I had two packs. Gave one away and kept one. It took me a while because we had, there was 80 in the pack. And they lasted a really, really long time. And they were good. I liked them. Now, went to Roses. And I believe, I picked this up. This is the Arm & Hammer Essentials Disinfectant Wipes Renewing Rain. I don't know whether I had this. Yeah, this might be the one I had. Citrus-based disinfection. 80 wet wipes. Um... Let's see what else. It kills 99.9% .9 of viruses and bacteria. We love that. But I just want to let you guys know they have these at Roses. And I want to say these were a dollar. They were, or maybe they were two for something. But the price was just as good as basically as Dollar Tree. Um, actually, when I was looking through Roses, they had a lot of the Dollar Tree items. Like a lot of the things that we were purchasing or that we saw that you could purchase, you could also purchase at Dollar Tree. Um, and then some of the items look like things you could purchase at Dollar General. So if you have a rose near you, take the time to go search through because they have some really, really good items in there too. So we picked that up. Um, that was roses, you guys, not Dollar Tree. Now this is another roses item. I want to kind of mix these in because I like them. Um, this is another roses item. These were the Simply Holiday 70 Multicolor Mini Lights. Um, and I don't know how they probably use these on the outside. They say $3.50, $3.50, but I don't know whether that's what we paid for these. I'm not sure because I don't remember. We picked up from Rose. I mean, $3.50 wouldn't be bad for 70 lights, but I think they were cheaper than that. I'm pretty sure. Um, this is another. So we bought two sets. I think they were on sale like two for something. And I don't want to say it was two for seven, maybe two for five. Um, so I picked, we picked these up. That was roses again. Just want to remind y'all so you don't think I got it from Dollar Tree. 
And then this item we picked up from Roses too. I thought it was so cute. And he was melanated. It says, sleep still Christmas. And he's got a little ribbon on him. Look, let me show you. And this was in the dollar section at um, Roses because it was a dollar. They have a little section and it was in the back with all the Christmas items and everything was a dollar. So I was like searching through to see what I could get. And I just thought he was adorable. And then it says, sleep still Christmas. And you can turn, let me just turn it. And it tells you how many sleeps or how many days you have until Christmas. How many days Santa has for him to sleep. So I'm going to hang this up. It's so cute. And for a dollar, you know, just like Dollar Tree. Okay, so that was it for that. Um, let's, well, what is this you got? Oh, this is something I picked up on Amazon. And we're gonna get back into Dollar Tree, guys. I'm sorry. But I just wanna show this because I had it sitting on the table. Um, these are for my kids. And these are a hat, gloves, and scarf set. And I don't even know, well, I know what they look like on Amazon. I don't know what they look like for real. So this is the first, my first time looking at them. My kids don't watch my videos, y'all, so. I keep hearing this noise, like somebody's outside my house, you guys. Kind of scary. It's a car, a truck with a lot of noise. Um, and it's late at night. I got these in gray and cream. Oh, and they're really cute. These are the glove part of it, and it's the gloves where you can use your phone. See how it's got that things, those things on the end? Because my kids actually, you know, they're grown and they never want anything, but they were like, Mom, it's so cold outside. We need hats, gloves, and scarves. What? When you say that, a mama goes to work. So mama went to work and got them some hat, gloves, and um, scarf sets. Anyway, here's the gloves in the gray. And then this is the hat. Oh, this hat feels so good on the inside. I thought these had pom-poms on them, but they don't. Now, one thing, I might end up with these hats because my kids don't like to wear hats. Um, these are called Lerone. That's the name brand. They don't like to wear hats because, you know, they don't want to mess up their hair. Girl, I will slap a hat on this head so quick and be cute with some big earrings, lipstick, some makeup, and keep it moving, okay? I don't care. My husband don't care. Hubby just wants me to get out the house, so... But anyway, it looks like it has like a mink on the inside. Oh, yeah. So if they don't want these hats, honey, mama will have it. See that? So these are real nice and soft. So that's the hat. And I'll put the price in the uh, video. I got them off of Amazon. They weren't too expensive, but for hat gloves, you know, I could have picked it up from Dollar Tree, but I knew the quality in Dollar Tree is not that good. Um, I'm thinking I may buy them another set from Dollar Tree. So they can have this set and then another set from Dollar Tree. Oh, look at this. this is a, oh, this scarf, y'all. It's like this must be real wool. I'll look it up and see if this is real wool. But look at that. Look how thick it is. Oh, that's nice. So these are for my children. That's something that they actually asked for that their mama could provide. You know how you get old enough to understand that instead of all those little cutie things, you need a hat on that head and some gloves and a scarf because that hawk be calling you outside. So my kids actually asked for it. So I got one in the gray. And um, I just went on Amazon. I could have probably went anywhere to get them, you guys. But I went on Amazon. Oh, see if I can get this second one open. Of course not. I used it. My fingernails are all breaking off, you guys, because I've been working so hard. I, you know, usually have long nails and I can just open things with my nails. But lately, ugh, my nails are just going south. Oh, this is a nice, oh, I like this one. Oh, the stuff is everywhere. So I got that, the other one was, let me show y'all. The other one was the light gray. See that? And this one is like a, oh, it's like a black, like a gray tweed almost. I know the lighting is not good in here, you guys. I hope you can see that. And then it's furry on the inside as well. It's got like a black. Oh, yeah. If they don't want these hats, mama will be stopping them. Y'all know it's a shame how I don't like to do my hair, but don't, you know, whatever. I did order, um, oh, I recently ordered some wigs. Because I used to wear, oh, yeah, I'm getting hair from these hats on my lips. 
I used to wear a lot of wigs. Um, I love to wear a wig. I don't care. I'll throw a wig on there too. Um, but a lot of my wigs, I don't buy human hair wigs because they're expensive. So when you buy the non-human hair wigs, they don't last that long. So a lot of my wigs, I'd end up throwing them away. And um, I just recently bought some more off Timu, you guys. So I'm going to review them and let you guys know how good they really are. Um, here's the gloves that go to the hat. So these go with this. Kind of cute. Let me hold it back. And then you've got... Oh, that's a pretty scarf too. Yeah. So that all matches up together. So that's for my daughters for Christmas. They asked for it because it is cold here in Maryland. So they knew the deal. Okay, so that's the end of that. That's the end of everything else. Now we're going to go back to Dollar Tree because that's how I'm rocking it. Y'all don't like it? Come on now. Okay. Um, and this is basically just whatever else because I don't have that much. Um, this is Freeman, and you know Freeman, they do all the masks, you get all the masks from Dollar Tree. Um, this is Freeman, I had never seen this before. Freeman Korean Cherry Blossom Toner, and it's a pore minimizer. Um, it's 6.1 fluid ounces. I really don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to give this as a gift because I really don't have problems with my pores. You know, I hope I don't start having problems, but I never really had problems with my pores. I'm not saying anything against anybody who does. It's just, I don't think, you know, I can use this. I bought it. I'll probably give it as a gift to somebody, you know. Um, then I picked up this. Now, I do want to use this. This is the, um, who is this by, y'all? This is by Rich Radiance Skincare. It is Cocoa and Shea Butter Cream Mask with Applicator. 1.7 ounces. I've never seen this. Um, trying to see. Well, I don't know too much about it, but it's, I, I love cocoa butter. And it says cocoa, but cocoa and shea butter cream masks. And it has a picture on the side looking like that. It's got some instructions. I know you guys can't see them because it's so dark in here. And that's what it's looking like. Let's see. Sometimes I have problems opening these boxes because they, I'll tell you what, some of these things from Dollar Tree, either they're real easy to open, like this probably ain't even got a, Oh no, the toner it does, it is closed. I don't, I don't smell it. But this is like Fort Knox. It's got all this tape. So we're not even gonna, I'll come back and review it with you guys. So I picked that up. Then this is what I picked up in Emporia when I was in Emporia, Virginia. Um, I love Flower Beauty. Whenever I see Flower Beauty, I grab it. Even if it's my wrong color, if it's whatever, I love it. So this is the Chrome Crush. Pressed pigments, uh, pressed pigments, chrome crush pressed pigments, and this is copper. Look how pretty that is, y'all. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I love this already, and I'm like, let me see. What? I don't need to take it out. You guys know it's copper. So I picked up two of these. I always pick up everything in twos. I don't know who I'll be giving it to. Um, and I picked this up. I had seen people haul these for like, probably a year. I've seen these for years. I never, ever, ever found one. And I love Yes to Tomatoes. Um, I love the wipes to use to clean my face. Um, this is new. It says new, but I think it's been around for a while, y'all. Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin um, Detoxifying Charcoal DIY Powder to Clay Mask. Oh, this isn't what I thought it was. It says yes to being a DIY diva and mixing it up with charcoal and tomatoes to detoxify and help clear your skin. So these are to help clear your skin. Okay, and that's what it's looking like. Hmm, very interesting. It says, FYI, I'm a bowl too. Okay, <laughs> I don't know anything about this. So I'll come back and review it, you guys, once I use it. This is one ounces and it's 99% natural ingredients. I love anything charcoal, and I love yes to tomatoes, so this may be pretty good. I normally don't have a problem with, like, like acne or anything like that. It says clear skin. I don't know. We'll see. Um, Let's see what else I got. I saw people haul these a while back. These are the Keras Cleansing Eyelid Wipes. I never had seen them. Um, you get 15 individually wrapped packets, non-irritating, no-rinse formula, moisturizes and soothes as it cleanses. 
removes contaminants. I mean, I thought I could use this. I Like I said, I don't use a lot of makeup. Um, these would probably be good for my daughters. They do wear makeup. They also um, do do eyelashes. I thought this would be good to clean, you know, your eyes after your eyelashes. So I may be giving this to them as a gift. And it is by Keras. You know, Keras makes the Band-Aids and they make a lot of stuff. Um, then I saw these. I had another one, which I probably hauled. You guys have seen it. This is Sassy and Chic. <laughs> Shashy. <laughs> Sassy and Chic um, makeup sponge with case. And it's this one that looks like, a, I think it looks like a coffee thing. Um, there it is. So there's the sponge. And then it has a little case on the bottom. It looks like a, looks like a curing coffee thing. And I think that's really, really cute. So I picked that up. I think I got two of them though. So I don't know, that probably may go to my daughters. Um, let me see what else I got to show you guys. Okay. I had found a lot of the Copper Care socks. And I think I found, was it sock? Yeah, I found the Copper Care socks. These are the new Copper Care Help Soothe Aches and Muscle Pains Copper Compression Gloves for your hands. Um, relieve swelling and pain. Now I used to have problems with like, almost like carpal tunnel, but I really don't have that anymore. Um, my sister has a lot of problems with her hands, so she may be able to use these. This is a two-pack adult, one size fits most. Um, what's that say? Anti-odor, graduated compression, and it increases your circulation. Okay. Helps soothe aches and pains. So I picked them up. Either I'll keep those or it'll be a gift from my sister. And then you guys, we're gonna move on to, well, this, like I told you guys, it's just everything. So I found this, this is, um, and I thought I could use these on my DIYs. This is the, it's by Toolbench Hand Sight Sanit, mm, I could not talk. Hand Sanding Block Kit. And this is what looks like the sander. <laughs> oh my God, okay. Um, hand sanding block kit, and this is the sander on the bottom there. And then the top, you know, you're gonna hold it from the top like that and sand. And you know, I had some DIYs to do, so I picked this up. Um, I saw these and I thought they were so cute. My daughter's gonna love them. Um, it's just says, all you need is love, eraser hearts. Excuse me, and you get a four piece set and they were pink and they were cute and my daughters will, they'll love them. So I picked those up. I found some more kitty socks. Um, I had found these last year, like this one. I think these are kids, let me see. Well, it says shoe size four to 10, so big kids could fit them too. Um, this is Care Bears, no shows. And there's Care Bear. And then they had the peanuts, I love peanuts. And this again is four to 10, no shows. So cute. And then my other daughter, she loves SpongeBob SquarePants. And these are the SpongeBob SquarePants. Aren't they cute? So I picked them up. Whenever I see those animated socks, I got to get them. I don't care who I give them to. They just got to come with me. Uh, I saw this. I thought it was cute. And because my trees are so small this year, we're not doing our big tree. Um, I had to get them. This is the um, melanin tree skirt. And I'm going to pull this out so you guys can see it because I wanted to see what it really looked like. Um, so, okay, it's cute. I don't really like the, the green that they chose, but it's cute. Let me just show y'all. There's Santa. He's got ornaments going on. He's melanated. And then it just says, ho, ho, ho. I wish they would have done regular Christmas colors because I love my regular degular red and green, but I may use this for my tree, something different. Okay, now we're gonna go on to some other things I picked up. Um, for Christmas, I picked this up. This is, and I didn't even, you guys, I'm not lying. I think I only paid $1.25 because I went to open this. Okay, I bought this one. I know I bought this one. 
And I just love these for decoration. I don't intend on giving any gifts, you know. Probably put some candy maybe and give it as a gift to somebody. So cute. I bought that one. Then all of a sudden when I got home, I opened it. <laughs> and there was another one on the inside. So I only pay, I, I only paid $1.25. I don't think the girl looked on the inside. And here's the other one. <laughs> so I didn't mean to buy this one. It just so happened to be inside the larger one. So I picked up, I guess I got both of them. Um, okay, I was looking for these and I was so excited when I found them. Um, let's see how much time I got. These are the prayer cards and I use these all the time when I send out like friend mail or, um, you know, somebody just may need a prayer card one day. They need a prayer. So you just want to give them one. Um, this one, they have them in all different colors and everything. This one says prayer cards, inspirational prayer and scripture cards for yourself and others. And you get 20 cards. And I thought the design was so cute. Um, and I'm thinking that they all look like that. Let's see what they look like. Let's see what they look like, y'all. Oh, yeah, these are pretty. And they just have different prayers on them. Look how pretty these are. That pink and that green, y'all. And on one side of the card, it says today's prayer. And then it'll give you a prayer. This one says, the Lord is good to those whose hope is in him. Lamentations 3 and 25. And then there's more. So you get 20. So you can't, you know, these would be good to stick into your Christmas gifts. Give everybody a little prayer, you know. You can't miss with that. Um, these are by Crown Jewels. And it's a women-owned company out of Ashland, Ohio. So, yay, yay, yay. I got one set. Now, the reason I bought two, because my brother-in-law, he actually gives prayer cards to people. Um, when he goes places, like, you know, wherever he goes, if he thinks somebody needs one, he hands them out. And I think everybody should do that. Um, I don't normally do that because some people don't appreciate it. Um, but, you know, I think it's a great idea that he does do it. Um, these are the same. This has 20 cards, but this is a different design. And again, it's by Crown Jewels, and it has 20. And these look a little different. Me, oh, they all, these all look different. Let me see, hold on, y'all. Those have the same design. Let me see. Oh, these have two different designs on them. So you have ones that have this design on the front, like that. Look at those pretty flowers. And then you have the ones that have this, the blue. And let's see, one of them says, be merciful to those who doubt. Jude 1 and 22. Be merciful for those who doubt. So, now I've got 40 of my little prayer cards. And I will stick some of them into my Christmas gifts. Um, I've got some friend mail I need to send out. Lord, I pray I can send it out by Christmas. Um, that's a prayer, right? Hopefully I can get them out um, because I do want to send out some friend mail. Um, and I do want to put some of these in my friend mail. So that was that. Um, I found this and I thought it was really, really cute, you guys. They have these little books at Dollar Tree and they just like, like inspirational, things like that. This one says, keep going. And I thought this would really, really be good for somebody who's going through something right now. And they just need to be inspired to just not give up. Don't give up. The Lord is helping you. The Lord's going to help you. It's going to work out. You know, sometimes people need that inspiration. Um, and on the back, it says, nothing in this world can take the place of persistence. Calvin Coolidge. That's cute. And this is, it might be Crown Jewels. No, this isn't Crown Jewels. This is Greenbrier, you guys. And then it has where you can put two from and the date on the inside. And then it has just all kinds of quotes. This one says, understanding persistence, gratitude. And then it goes on to say, never give up. Don't be afraid to fail. Failure is just a stepping stone to success. And you know, it's just pages of those type of quotes. Not going to read them all to you. But anyway, that's what that's about. I thought that was a great, great, you know, extra gift to stick in somebody's um, basket or whatever. My sister loves these, so I decided to pick them up for her. These are the large print Bible word finds. 
fine 20. And see, these are the larger print. I mean, she's not going blind or anything like that, but it's just easier um, to work with the larger print. It's even easier for me, you know, so hey, I don't mind a larger print one. So I picked that one up. They had that one, and then they had volume 21, and this is a different one. It's another one. She likes these. She's retired. She's at home, so she can work these all the time. And I think you guys, no, that's not it. Last thing. Finally found this. I love to find the large bubble baths. I donate them to the kids. Um, I could give them to my grandsons. I don't know. We'll see. This is the large Crayola bubble bath. And it's strawberry scented, paraben free, phthalate free, tear free, and hypoallergenic. It's 33.8 ounces. That's a lot of bubble bath, y'all. And the cap doubles as a fun sprinkler cup. That's what it says. Cap doubles as a fun sprinkler cup. This is how much bubble bath you're getting. When the cashier saw me pick this up at the store, she was like, oh, I'm going back there to get it for my, my grandkids. I'm like, yeah, they will have lots of fun in this. And it's strawberry scented. I want to smell it. Oh. Why is everything so hard? Oh, it's, it's taped down. I don't know. I'm not going to mess with it. So there we go. So that's it, you guys. That's all I got for now. I have some more. I'll be back. I'm going out this weekend to do a little bit. It, I'm going to be having some small hauls, just small ones, because I'm not going to be buying all this going towards Christmas, and I'm just starting to clean up too. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. So, um, so glad to see you guys. Glad you guys are all doing fine. Um, please stay safe and stay blessed, you guys. Lady C has got to get out of here. Um, I thank you for all of your love and support. Smooches! And I'll be talking at you later. Bye-bye now.